This is like the most satisfying sound ever. I probably should be doing it. It's not the healthiest, but it is needed at this moment. All right. The thing that most people don't realize is that AI is restructuring the entire industry. I mean, it's at a pace we've never seen before. In the next five, de five years, 85% worth of the current job tasks will be augmented by AI. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a creator, this will affect you. The question is, is will you take advantage of it or will you be left behind? So I want you to take a moment and think about this for a second, is that the current reality that we are living is, is that gym coaches that are constantly using AI to generate plans, that business owners are using AI to generate emails, but it doesn't just stop there. We're talking about AI being integrated into your business and taking over people's roles. An AI tool we just developed the other day is cutting business owners out of a receptionist and that's 40 to 60 K dollars that goes back into the business. And we're going to talk about Sarah. So Sarah is a freelance graphic designer and I want you to imagine her and she used to spend 20 hours a week on repetitive design tasks. One day she discovered AI design tools that cut her workload workload from 20 hours all the way down to three hours. So now Sarah can focus on high value activities, client acquisition, and creating strategies that will actually triple her income. And that is the opportunity we have here. But if you don't take advantage of it, you will be left behind and your business will be dead. The same thing applies to the creator landscape is that the creators that are using AI to develop better copy, to actually use it with automation and to help them respond to DMS and replies and save them time so they can put their energy elsewhere are the ones that are going to win. According to McKinsey, generative AI could add up to $4.4 trillion annually to the global economy. And that's more than the entire GDP of Germany. Keep that in mind. The entire landscape of this is blowing up. And that's not even touching the massive increase in the informational industry that we're seeing right now. What is going on right now in the actual AI landscape about the different tools that are available and what you, you know, have access to. So the first thing we're going to touch on is copywriting. So there are a couple of tools that I would highly recommend to use when you're writing copy is going to be Claude because that is a type of AI that is better at writing. And the way I want you to think about approaching these conversations with AI is as a friend, because when you're asking AI questions, the more you give it, the better it's going to be able to respond and formulate a piece of writing, the more context you give it. So instead of asking, hey, please generate me this email, you should be asking, hey, please generate me this email with this specific purpose, with this tone, as acting as this person. The more details you get it, the better responses you're going to get from these models. The second thing is going to be video editing. So there are a bunch of AI tools. The first one I would love to mention is Runway. It's great for just building out images, videos, uh, and it can actually remove backgrounds automatically. Generate B-roll and edit complex sequences within seconds. It's insane. The second thing I'd like you to think about is looking at tools like Opius, which is great for cutting up short clips. And then for the third, which I actually just found out the other day is going to be Dali three, which is really good for images, just building out backgrounds. And then what gets really interesting is we can talk about this later in another video is creating your own AI models that will take your images and the way you want your brand to be perceived and build that out. So you have an unlimited source of just images that can be generating. You don't have to hire a photographer. You don't have to hire a videographer. Your AI knows exactly the type of images and brand voice and the way your brand wants to be perceived within a matter of seconds, rather than having to take the manual time to explain that to someone. So there's massive leverage there. With content generation, creators are using AI to produce YouTube series without, without filming a single frame. 
In business automation, this is another great point for my business owners, is that there are tools like Zapier 8 and 8. Highly recommend for doing because automation is just gonna save you time because you should ideally at this point where AI is at, not be spending time that assistants should be doing and should be your time should be spent on high level thinking things that only you can do. You no longer have to pay for someone to be your assistant anymore. You no longer have to pay for receptionists. You no longer have to pay for DM setters. AI can take that job. And then we get into the fun stuff. So the shift we're moving into right now is from who does it better to who does it faster, smarter, and more strategically. The landscape used to be about becoming a specialist, figuring out how you can become the absolute best at whatever you do, becoming the expert in that one thing and studying that one step and becoming the, the, the person that is a go-to person. As the landscape is transforming, something that a lot of people are running into now, and my uncle actually lost his job because of this, is because he specialized in this one language, this one thing for so long and he got very good at it, but due to the development of AI, he never learned anything else. He never skilled up and just became a specialist in that area. The landscape is changing dramatically and it's going from being a specialist to being a generalist. If you are able to take a multitude of skills and you know services and beliefs and be able to incorporate them into one thing, an idea, you're going to completely speed up and change the entire landscape. You're going to be way more fit than anyone else who was a specialist. And that's just how the world is adapting. And it's either you adapt or you die. So making sure you have an understanding of these skills and these tool sets are going to be vital so that you can survive in this landscape as we're transforming to an accelerated rate within the next five years. I want to talk to you a little bit about a tale and it's called the Kodak moment. Y'all remember Kodak? Let's go back all the way. So they invented a digital photography, but they refused to embrace it. So their company actually went from a $31 billion company to bankruptcy because they were afraid of disrupting their own business model. I'm begging you, don't let AI be your Kodak moment. There was a song written about it for a reason. Okay. If you don't have an understanding of where you're at and where your business is at in the full landscape, put it in the DMs, ask any questions that you have. If you need help with implementing any tools, I want to make sure y'all are succeeding and genuinely getting to a point where you're not having your business run you, you are running your own business. Let's talk a little bit about the actual solutions with this because there is such a big mindset that I really want to crack down that every single person has is that AI is going to replace me. AI is going to replace my job if you don't learn how to leverage it and use it. And if you adapt that AI won't replace you. What a lot of people are now doing is, for example, with YouTube for my creators, they're taking AI clips and then they're actually taking those podcast hosts and generating that into clips, notes, highlights, and then translating all of those episodes down into minutes, which is just a fraction of a second that it used to be. So for business owners, the way you should think about this is let's say you write a LinkedIn post for your business. What you can then do is feed that LinkedIn post to a model that will then take that entire post and create a audio of it. You can then attach that audio to a video that will generate the entire images based on the audio and post that to YouTube and then cut that up into other platforms. The biggest leverage point for any creator and any business owner is long form content, whether that's you on a screen, whether it's you writing an article, that is what's going to last in the long term because you can use AI tools to build those things out, build those systems out. But the core root of everything is the ideas, the way you talk, your presence, and genuinely, if people connect to you is what is going to matter. The coolest thing right now is AI marketing agencies are using AI to develop personalized campaigns. This allows marketing agencies to develop content 10 times faster and 
without doing manual, manual research, I want you to look into something called copy.ai. It's something that I utilize in my business and it helps us build specialized content out for entrepreneurs that we work with. You can go ahead and go in there and configure workflows that will research the entire internet, scrape YouTube videos, LinkedIn videos, and we'll be able to output an entire content document of these are the questions people are asking. These are what topics to talk about in your niche. These are ideas what you should write about. And it's just free. It's a free idea machine. It's a free content machine. And if you really get into it, you can start building copy and highly converting copy from those ideas that it generates. The key principles I want you to think about in this new age is that prompt engineering is the new coding. I myself have a computer science degree. And from what I can say is that to just today, I was able to build an entire interface. Think of this like a website, the beginning of a website that you go to within 10 minutes. That project would have taken me one to two months, depending on the complexity of it but that's the new world we're working on. So learning how to prompt AI well is what is going to last and you utilize prompt engineering in every asset of your business, whether that's writing out workflows, whether that's designing AI agents, chatbots, is going to be one of the biggest leverage points. So if you don't know how to do it now, learn how to do it, it will change your life. The other couple of things with the principles that I would just really recommend taking in mind thinking about is that it's not going to replace human intuition. It's not going to replace the human connection. It actually is just going to allow humans to evolve and be more creative because you no longer have these big barriers of entry to creating inventions, tools, and software. It's actually going to allow us to create an abundance of these things. It's just a matter of, is it a good idea? Can you impl implement it fast enough? Is there strategy behind it? Is what is going to matter. If you walk away from this video, I would like you to get this one thing. You need to automate low value tasks to focus on high impact strategy. I don't care if you're a business owner that has zero profit. I don't care if you're a creator who has one follower. You need to be thinking about this because it is your time that you are wasting by doing this. I want you to treat AI as your collaborative partner and not as a threat. AI is not coming up to hurt you. It doesn't have any qualms against you. It is a friend. The way you respond to it responds to you. It's literally a reflection of you. So you should have this collaborative relationship of you prompted something, it responds, you ask it questions, and it's just a circular relationship that you're going to have with your AI, with your model. And if it even helps, name it. The biggest thing is I'm building a revolutionary tool that will show entrepreneurs exactly how to transform their business in the AI era. If you're interested about this, if this is something you have questions about, or even just in general AI, join the waitlist down below and I would love to speak with you about it. You can either watch the AI revolution pass by you or you can take a hold and grab it and use it the opportunity to transport your business to unworldly places because there's so much opportunity right now that people are not taking advantage of i do not want you to be out of the races so start thinking about this start looking into it figure out how you can implement this because time is running out and it won't be like this the landscape won't be like this forever all right my friends stay classy and i'll catch y'all later